is everywhere, everywhere. She said that, she did, and I said, yeah, you are in a bloody record shop. <laughs> We've been back open about six weeks now, and it's good, yeah, yeah, a bit slow, quiet, not like before. People got these romantic notions of what it's like to run your own shop. But really, I spent most of my time sat over there doing the mechanics of it all, checking, labeling, pricing, and bagging up records all day. When you get a record in, you got to check it. This is what you do. Jump on internet, check discogs.com. Which pressing is it? Look at condition. Has it got pops in? Could be damaged if it's been played a lot, or pre-loved as we say. They lose value. What you want is something in mint condition, especially classics. But some pops and a few finger marks could reduce the price of a rare find from 50 pounds down to a fiver. And if it's warped, the ultimate thing you want is a sealed copy. No one's put their sweaty hands on it. And then bam, you put them out. 12 inches over there, albums over there. It's funny. When I meet someone and they hear that I've got a record shop, they think, oh, I wonder what sort of music. And then they look at me, probably because I'm black, not mixed. And they think, it'll be R&B and garage, won't it? Urban music, hip hop and soul. <laughs> yeah, it is mostly. But we got more than that. We got all the good stuff. I put hip hop right by the door. I want to let them know who I am. <laughs> Oh yeah. Got funk, soul and bricks over there for the diggers. Got a decent jazz section. We've got a dance section. Proper dance, mind you. Not Wigfield or Macarena. Kenny Dope, Masters at Work, Nightmares of Wax, of course, Keep It Leads. Funky How. <laughs> down, 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 down. Woo! It's all right. No disco, no hip hop in it. Got a mix of other stuff. Tiny classical section, which she always said she wanted to be bigger. I mean, I don't know much about it. I don't want to get the obvious stuff. So to be honest, I usually end up picking up ones with um, plush sleeves and mad artwork and so on. Looks cool. Bit of classicals, okay? Oh, shit. That was the Antiques Roadshow theme, wasn't it? Put on the TV and film. I like it up here. <laughs> Everything in it's, uh, it's my little. And who do you think made it all happen? You know what I always say? I do it on my Jones. <laughs> on my Jones, 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 Jones. You call me Prophius, author of my own myth. Pages of the epic, I'm exposing it. These momentary thoughts upon the process, but obviously Orpheus makes music about all of this. I pull my fist, the black plan stand by myself. No one's gonna help, we need a better plan. Players on the pitch, put the front past. Big pockets, put the hands in, they better pull it back. Yep. Now everybody play the fool. Don't play with liars, I brought my own loot. The one man planned a self-empowerment. I can stop motion. Ray Harry Housen. I used to roll with Argonauts. I spell it out for y'all. If your team messed up, you get eaten by the carnivore or do it on your jones, do it on your jack jones, do it on your jones. 
Obviously, you get people that aren't into hip hop, funk, and that. People that are open to different genres. Those are the ones that come in here and they look a bit lost. And after a few minutes, I'm like, can I help? What are you into? And they're like, oh, a bit of everything. And I'm thinking, you really don't like music, do you? Why have you brought all that ignorance into my shop? I'll be over here, you go over there. Please don't touch the stock. I knew it before, but it's even more clear to me now. The great British public out there, they're all knobheads. I mean, the building's nice. It's like a huge round palace, I think. But all the other shops next to us are all boutique aren't they? Selling trendy things, weird clothes and knickknacks. Not stuff you actually need, like vinyl. Anyway, as you can see, Nowadays, it's a hive of activity. There's this one guy that comes in here, a taxi driver, Shahid. He wanders in here, a cup of coffee, and he's like, oh, vinyl, I remember them. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I used to have all these. All these? There's over 8,000 records on display out here. Cock boffin. I felt like going, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh my. What about this one? Antiques Roadshow. And now, every day he comes in here before a shift and tries to talk to me about how he used to be a soul DJ. So, I... <laughs> Can't be bothered speaking to the old deaf bastard. Still sat there in the old house. You know, once I asked him, I said, why'd you like Colombo so much? You know what he said? Because from the start, you know exactly who's to blame. You know when nothing's good enough for the old man? I don't know what he wants from me. Sorry. I've got to check. You never know when it's vulture. DJ Vulture, yeah, big name, big name, yeah? Proper DJ, knows his tunes. If I get a call off him, I know he's gonna be getting rid of some amazing records, first editions, rarities. I buy them off him, can sell them on and make some proper wedge. He's a safe guy too. Pretty much a friend, uh, yeah. Deep guy, Vulture, named after Gil Scott Heron's first novel, I think. Either that or um, Vulture Man of Thundercats. There he is. The other problem with this building is security. Sometimes you've actually got a customer in, but if it's 5.59 p.m. and if Kojo's bloody on, you'll see his fat Ghanaian face in the window, all like, oh, 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 oh. one minute over, and it's complaint against you to building management. You put up a shelf, it sticks out that much. Health and safety, complaint to building management. Hey, have you been sleeping overnight in the shop again? If you breathe, complaint to... Thinks he's this building's bloodhound. Why is he always sniffing around me? Cause I'm black, innit? Thank God he's not police officer. He once told me he liked Robson and Jerome. It's not even his job. You should be dealing with the scratters that come in here. We had a limited edition Cardi B picture disc. Went missing. 48 pounds, that. 
It's always the same three girls that come in here. Should probably be at the Catholic school up the road. They were them, bunking off. The two big ones and the little one who looks like Velma off Scooby-Doo, but like really cross. Last time they were in here, they were in the hip-hop section. They were holding up some pop track 12, probably Drake. And they had their phones out for Instagram. Like that. She always used to say, you should give them a chance. It's good that girls are taking interest. She used to talk to them. Just... this time she'd come in I'll be over here cashing up and I'd hear the door go and I knew it was her without even looking back and while I was finishing she'd go stand in the classical section waiting for me just smiling and now Every time I hear the door go, part of me still hopes that is today it's someone else. She's 50s, dreadlocks, wearing beads, tie-dye bandana, jewelry all clanking around up here. And she's pulling one of those tartan granny shopping trolleys behind her. Hello, Wolfie. Uh, do you know me? Of course. Uh, can't quite place your face. That's okay. What's your name again? Amo. Amo. What kind of name's that? She looks at me and she says, What was school like growing up in East Leeds? Or fierce? Fair point, that. Her eyes looking at me like, uh, <laughs> right, what are you after? I want to give you something unasked for. Then she unclips the top of her granny bag on wheels and pulls out two LPs, a 12 and a couple sevens. Let's have a look. Don't touch the stock. I can smell already. The vinyl's old. There's a smell to it. But one sleeve is totally frayed and there's telling me it wasn't asked for. Bin's over there, I think. I hand them back to her. Have you been looking after yourself, Orphe? We can't do anything by ourselves, Orpheus. <laughs> well, look at all this, I say. Who do you think made all this happen? This is me. This is my purpose. This music. No one else's. You know what I always say? I do it on my Jones. You can't be perfumes all through. She looks at me. She's not impressed. The big man, eh? On your Jones. Yeah. Who's gonna help me? Them out there. Gojo's walking past. Sorry, love. It's closing time. Why don't you try a charity shop? Because do I look like the PDSA? Then she tilts her head a little. And she says something terrible. The lover forgets his pain in the sweet moment of mercy. That suspicion that torments the heart at last turns to delight. Remember. But don't look back. And she leaves. 
Now I'm thinking, what kind of verbal twattery is that? 6 p.m., the latch clicks, and I draw the blind on the shop window down. On my jones. Now I should start shuffling about, tidy up records by the listening post. Well, I don't need to cash up, do I? I'm not going to go on. It's been half a year, and I still find her hair in the carpet. <laughs> don't look back. Granny Tartan shopping trolley. She's left it. Might as well. I recognise the first one. It's a Reuben Wilson rare Groove 12 from 1973. Looks name in. Check it. And Discog says it's worth £2.50. Fair enough. Put it on the turntable. <coughs> Lift the tone out. <coughs> and as soon as the needle touches the vinyl, <coughs> I can see the groove spinning round. Concentric circles expanding and retracting. And I notice my hand. I can see through it. Have you ever been able to see through your whole arm? Like you're transparent. I can see the record player through my hand. Lights start to flicker. Darkness of night. Concentric circles. Expanding and retracting. I am in the back of a cab. Leather seat sticking against my forearm. Raindrops on the windscreen crawling away from the street lights. Look over the seats. And I can see the driver ID on the dashboard. Half drunk coffee in the cup holder. Shahid, taking us down Bore Lane, across the river. I can see him, but he cannot see me. His thoughts are so loud. I'm 
had a pullover. Hey, sleeping in the daytime and working in the night. Barely see my family, no one asked if you're all right. But I heard it all in the back of my car. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Hey, well, well, the meter's running. Time's running out. Earnings drop, and I can't breathe. The doctor prescribes me a year's way before I can get therapy. Yeah. I probably need more exercise. He said to run, but I never do. But I run him into town. Oh, people run from war zones. Kids dying in the sea. I know some have it much worse than me. I'm just lonely. I need a song. Someone that sold me a little serotonin. The car is deep and I could fall in here. Oh, drive me, drive me. to talk no more and I'm stood in the front room next to the mirror and I catch myself and all I could do was I'm scrolling through my address book for someone to talk to but someone is too busy. Someone doesn't pick up. And someone is sorry, but can they talk tomorrow because they've got work in the morning? And all I could do was say a name. I could only say a name. Over and over. Just. Justine. <laughs> Flipping it. You know, it must be serious when Grumpy Guts himself is attempting to send a text. He calls himself a Luddite. I prefer a self involved macho prick who isn't really interested in anyone who doesn't fit into his own dark little world. I was only young. Columbo was on telly. I just can't figure it out. Well, it seems quite straightforward to me, Lieutenant. Perhaps when she left, she simply mislaid her. And he'd sit there in the corner with a copy of his paper and a glass of cheap rum. I'd want to put on one of Mum's reggae records, Johnny Osborne or one of her Northern Soul tunes. She liked Northern Soul. And I'd just walk over to the deck, just close to it, just looking at it, that's all. And I'd hear from the armchair, don't touch it, son. And I'd pretend not to hear. I just got a record out of the sleeve. I lift the needle arm. <laughs> right there. <sighs> not so much a cauliflower whole bloody allotment. I was only six. Look round and he's gone back to being a bag of bones in the armchair, clutching his tumbler of, I don't know. He can't stop me from doing what I want to do now. Don't look back. I get another record out of the trolley. Someone is walking around the building. Prowling. I can hear them making grunting sounds. Some sort of other language. Climbing the stairs to the second level. They are in the shop. Gojo stood there. The watchdog is watching me. Hey, mate. You shouldn't be working here this late. You know you've left the light on? Yeah. There was a letter by the door. 
I know what it is. I know what it's going to say. I open it. God, Joel's watching. It's the final warning from the building. It's not about complaints. It's about the fact I haven't paid rent. Seven months. Ask him if I can work a little longer. And his expression changes. A smile. And you know what he says? No more na le mobo. Something in African. He lets me stay, pats my arm. Off he goes on his rounds. Next record. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> my hand again and I can see those three girls stood on the pavement outside Nash's kids three girls by the chip shop three girls a portion of chips a portion of cheesy chips by the chip shop and a kind of monster now they're looking pissed off Yo, yo, Alex, Meg, Tizzy, ch ch thought to do, just chilling by the chippy. Alex got ketchup on a new Gucci hoodie from TK Maxx. She don't need that for your sir. Make Mad Max look like a slightly peeve, Max. 15, who's school but not got a place yet? No wonders round town with her mates yet. Shouted at, now she shouts back. Shouted at a teacher who gives an ear piercing. I'm not here for my benefit, clearly. Stressed out about being stressed out. People only speak with raised voice, raised hands. Raising the sticks, raising the post, no one wants to know. Yeah, so she steals a chip from Megan. We lose innocence, betrayal, jealousy, vengeance. This is the exam, the hidden entrances. So furious, so furious, so furious. Megan can't stand it when someone takes a chip without asking. Puts her in the mindset of an assassin. Year 10, she slapped that boy in science when he started gassing. Stabbed in the back in WhatsApp. She wasn't doing nothing. He put his hand down the top. Of course she started punching. Cause friends are only friends when it suits them. People chat about prospects, but they don't care about the youth them. Don't talk about innocence. Everything be nice. Life serious? Cared for a mum since she was five. Is it too much to wish for her to have her own life? Believe in your dreams, but it's not for the likes of us. My post code, not in our home. You wonder why we're so, 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 so furious. So, so, so furious. So, 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 so furious. We lose innocence, betrayal, jealousy, vengeance. This is the exam, they hit all the entrances. And then there's the little one who looks like Velma from Scooby Doo, but rare. Like she's in a really bad mood. She's got a kind of monster. She's called Tizzy. She used to be joyful. And she likes Ed Sheeran. Yeah, she likes Ed Sheeran. Because he's sweet and endearing. And did you know that he was born in West Yorkshire? Yeah, Halifax, I know it's not Leeds. But whatever, I'll proper punch you in the face if you mess with me. And actually, she's really good at mathematics and algebra. Been bullied a lot, spat on the back of the bus. And battered just because she's Romanian. Reported it and reported it, but the school did sweet FA again. And one morning, she took the knife into school. Bullied for a year, she's the one who gets kicked out. So now we listen to music on phones on cold city steps. The only time we're not vexed, it's not vapor, it's fire on our breath. Practicing dance routines to post Malone, Cardi B, UK Drill, and of course Ed Sheeran. Can't forget Ed Sheeran. Take a second and stop being so 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 We lose innocence, betrayal, jealousy, vengeance, vengeance, jealousy, jealousy. Bloody hell, this one skips. Kids. They gotta get on with it. No excuses. Your fault you're excluded. Okay, Boomer. No, it's not okay, Boomer. I'm only 37. I'm in the same shit as you. Innocence lost? Yeah. Well, I lost something too. Who? Justine? Yeah. She's proper nice. Where is she? She's gone to another place. <laughs> she didn't want you in your record shop, did she? Everyone's got Spotify and YouTube, and everyone knows that vinyl sales account for less than 2% of music consumption. And you haven't sorted out your online. Yeah? 
She left it for someone else, didn't she? Yeah, no. She went to Italy. I don't need these wasters. I just need her back. I suppose you've realized. I've got a few scratches. Like I'm doomed to be repeating something or stuck or lost or trapped. And all this is just one loud lamentation. Like I'm wounded. <laughs> yeah, she's in Italy. She Brexited me. Have you ever thought of someone every day for months and months and months? Just makes me so angry. I don't get why she left me. I mean, with everything I've got going on. I mean, how selfish can one person be? <laughs> My business is crumbling. Got no credit left. My dad thinks I'm an idiot. And she swanned off to take some artsy job in. Aren't you meant to stay and try and talk it through, deal with the issues? She's such a hypocrite. Of course I miss her. She left finger marks. <laughs> So I remember what life was like before this death. This tune reminds me of the night we met. Just your average love story and well. We met in Bar Purgatory and Club Heaven and Hell. In the Grand Arcade, the Grand Charade. I'm DJing, I see her make her way. In. I know that she ain't paying. Cause back then I used to promote nights round town. Started on Thursday nights below creation of the underground. Just had a vibe to her. No way I could pursue her. It was her who made the first move, but she comes up, requests some Jurassic 5. Not really rap, just the kind of girls like. <laughs> She's at the uni. She's fresh to the city. Doesn't like it when rap is violent or disrespectful to women. Justine from Leamington Spa, studying joint honours Italian and history of art. When I said this rough key joke, she didn't laugh, but didn't leave either. I think maybe we could be an item, because if she can stand this block, and when you know, you know, you it for sure arguing who pays the cab fare home. Yeah, that night we argued who pays the taxi fare home. Fussing and fighting. <laughs> Fussing and fighting. <laughs> I let her pay, obviously. We fuss and fight, but we won't admit that. Uh. We fuss and fight, but we won't, what, 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 won't. We fuss and fight, but we won't admit that. Uh. We fuss and fight, but we won't admit something's going on. Something is going on. Yeah. We lived together in Burley for quite a few years. I've got my decks in the lounge. She wants IKEA furniture here. She wants me to move my vinyl to the shed, need space for art. I said, you work as a temp for the council. Please don't start. We both had folks we don't want to be around. I've stopped promoting late nights, too old to DJ now. The girlfriend's going to the pubs, the clubs, the opera. I said, yeah, go ahead, love. I'm not stopping you. We fuss and fight, but we won't admit. Uh. We fuss and fight, but we won't, what, 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 won't. We fuss and fight, but we won't admit. Uh. We fuss and fight, but we won't admit something's going on. Something is going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. On Sundays, we'd walk around Golden Acre Park. We stroll and discuss the hopes we hold in our heart. We talk of dreams, expressing how we feel for real. Golden Acre Parks were our Elysian field. She said, To be shared. I told her my deepest want, my dream of opening the shop. The music would stop to bless beats, head pop, and she said something about an art gallery in Venice. Some days I come back and I'm stressed. I kneel, I put my head in the lap, like her hands only thing keeping my head. And even though she doesn't stack the dishwasher properly, 
That was the moment I knew for certain. I didn't want Demi Moore off ghost. All of these out of eternal. Or any girl on the screen. It had to be her. Justine meant for me. We go together like death and Persephone. Two years pass. Pass her in the hall and she's painting. She says, lately she's changing, but I'm the same old, same me. Whatever. And after one of our Golden Acre pub lunches, I said, have you met someone? She said, no. But I've applied for a job and it's not here. For some fight. Just some high, but I won't, what, 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 what. I fought some fight, but I won't admit. It's just some high, but I won't admit something's going wrong. Something is going wrong. I didn't realize it. She lifted me. And I was always weighing her down, dragging her down. What kind of person have I become? Something's going wrong. Something's going wrong. Some, eh? Something's going wrong. Some, eh? This one's warped. <laughs> it's not that. Who this? Vulture. Yes, sorry, bro. I've, I've not got your number saved to my phone. Yeah. New phone. Cool. Yeah. Well, I'm always looking to build up stock, aren't I? Yeah. What are you selling? Really? All your vinyl? The whole... Yeah? Well, I'll be in first thing in the morning. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm at the shop now. One bell me when you're outside, I'll let you in. Wait. How much are you thinking? Two grand. Okay. Yeah. I'll make sure I've got the money to transfer to you. Yeah. That's good. Two grand. Dad? <laughs> Foolish mortal! You dare to ask for treasures from the master of this domain? <laughs> you don't actually talk like that. I've been trying to reach you. Uh, yeah. You never called back? Well, I'm calling now, huh? My first text was last night. Well, I've been busy. Doing what? The shop. The shop? I haven't seen you in months. Are you making it a profit yet? I actually wanted to talk to you about that. What for? I'm sure you'll explain it to me. The thing is, yeah, you've got to speculate to accumulate. I can see him in his front room. I just sat back down. He sounds desperate. Of course. I know why he's calling me now. Open my wallet again. A grown man still calling his dad for cash. It's not what I'd hope for. Not likely. Not until hell freezes over. What does it take to make Hades cry iron tears? And he's still in this slump over this girl. I didn't like her anyway. It's not like they were married. Not like she died. Not like you didn't go to doctors until it was too late. Not like you were left with a child you weren't ready for. 
Not like you had to carry your job and your son and your grief while you were going through your own personal private. No, not like that. Not like me. Not until hell freezes over. What does it take to make Hades cry iron tears? I just wanted him to man up. When's he gonna get on his feet instead of messing around with his shop thing? Music. It's all his mother. It were all right when he were running around doing the club nights and that. Young man's business. But now, he's like, it seems just like a minute ago when I could hear a little orphan laughing in the bath, splashing, his mother singing, joysticks and little candles everywhere, her bangles and her karma. And I miss her. Only she could have convinced me to call our child Orpheus. I barely remember it now. I lost it for a bit. But I thought if I just walked the walk, he'd see. He were only six. I were hard on him. That's the thing with depression. Rage. I just kept telling him to be a man. But all I could be was a shell. A tomb. For a long time. Until I spoke to someone and realised life isn't like Columbo. And when I saw him, all I felt was guilt. Shutting himself in his headphones, his lyrics, his bass covering tender eardrums. I thought he was nothing like me. He's just like me. Like an echo of me. Bouncing around in a tomb we have created for ourselves. I just want him to... I'm his father. Maybe that's it. Maybe he's mourning for things barely remembered. What does it take to make Hades cry and your tears? What does it take? What does it take? Maybe hell should freeze out. No money. Turns out he's skint too. And he had therapy. He says, I should go talk to someone. Yeah, like I'm going to listen to his advice. I'm going to do what I want to do. I don't want to be happy. I want to be angry. You stay over there. I'll stay over here. Vulture. Let him in. So he comes in. <laughs> He's brought his entire collection. <laughs> He looks rough. He's downsized and he explains, because now he lives alone. Can't have him in the house. There's hundreds. Do you mind if I check out a few of them? Yeah, mate, course. DJ Vulture, for the culture. Everybody inside the space makes some noise. Ever feel like all the stuff that you consume with is actually destroying you? Taking you away from the truth, the truth about who you are. Instead, we only see what we want to see, hear what we want to hear. Every song is made up of frequencies, resonating at different pitches like colours, wavelengths of light, wavelengths of sound. Our entire perception is made up of waves, but we don't really focus on all the tones, not unless you attune to it. You ever feel like something isn't right? You're only aware of what you focus on. Get wavy. Cymatics! Cymatics is ancient Greek for waves. Yeah, man, deep. This tune, though. Music! 
And when we put on a record, we can see the groove spinning round like a stone being dropped into a puddle. And those sounds go out and affect those around us. Sound vibrates matter. Yeah, like sub bass in a club. Run certain frequencies through water and you'll see they make shapes. And what are we? 60% water. Our brains, 73% water. What are those frequencies doing to us? What shapes is it making in our brains? Can you see? These records are weapons. I'll send you some links. Don't take my word for it. Check it out for yourself. Cymatics. Cymatics. There's a bit of wobble on this one, I think. We are being controlled by the vibrations they are putting out to the public. What about frequencies you can't hear? And all these vinyls, just one can hold a whole spectrum of frequencies, and it's terrible. Music is everywhere, emitting frequencies that change the very nature of your thinking. It attacks your lungs, bombarding them with sound. It attacks your breathing, never allowing your lungs a chance to repair, trying to kill us. Why? Don't ask me why, it's them! Most of these records are water damaged. Hey, they're not damaged, it's just a few finger marks. You're just seeing what you want to see right now. What do you mean you can't take him? I'll take him elsewhere. You're a shill for them, aren't you? I'm not. No coincidence you're called Orpheus. I know the myth. Go fuck your mum. Bro. That's Oedipus. So that's it then. The shop's going to be taken away. What's the point of it all anyway? Music. Two shitty records left. One's a classical thing. The weird cover. Abstract. Just sort of like this. She was right to leave me. She's moved on. I can't move on. It serves me right, really. I never listened to her. Just dragging her down. <laughs> Didn't want to admit it, but I was. My old man, dragging him down. It was inevitable. Dragging him down. Everything, dragging it down. And everyone's out there getting on with their own stuff. No point getting in the way. No wonder I've ended up here by myself. It's inevitable. It's always been inevitable. And I take the record and fold it in on itself. I can't feel anything. Maybe it's my time to... broken pieces of plastic. And I have faded away into the dark. Holding the smallest, most fragile fragment of peace. Night falls with subliminal force, a difficult existence living on pause. City song turns silent, inwards a thought, continuous slog, sick of four walls, I make a wish I could finish it all. If I close my eyes forever, will I stay invisible? Night.
daydream dismantled colors in the sky run underground clustering these clouds into frown streets beneath growl broken records spun around the same lanes we took our records and we strung them out traffic lights on red no vehicles to wear empty office windows watch forsaken industrial estates up here across the orange lamp glow we survey the pulse of the city heart slow to a resting state but I can see a cab driver wiping vomit off the back seat after taking a guy to A&E for free. A security guard walks home on the phone talking to a faraway daughter. And in three different houses, one girl is sleeping fully dressed but peaceful. One pushes her red face into a Lion King pillow and her mum is washed and fed. One pulls up the duvet a little tighter and downstairs is the letter of an acceptance to a new school. A father nods off during news night to dream of a lost love. A DJ opens a new tab and looks into the rabbit hole and the rabbit hole is recording every click and keystroke. Click and keystroke. Across the states, tower blocks, semi-detached garage extensions, lives behind walls, too caught up in their own complexities, a tangle of intentions. Expectations and aspirations are ended. But everything is connected. There are whispers, conversations in secret places, plans set into motion, and we are ambushed by kindness. Holding hands over city skies, standing sentinel over sanctuary sleep, and even though we have buried beacons beneath bad dreams, compassion watches at the window. It is angels that crouch in shadows, healing that waits for us, a conspiracy of love. Working just out of sight, each of us, wanting each of us to be okay, it's not them, it's us. I'm alive, that's a start. Music, well music is thing about records is these are physical things the works of art they should be touched held they should have a home I start thinking about that lot I can give Shahid that Jackie Wilson 45 we've got in the back he'd love that and Kojo We've got an Afrobeat album in from Ghana. CK man, that'll get him dancing. And if I see those girls, I tell Alex, Post Malone's good, but he's basically Kurt Cobain singing over hip hop, so why not listen to Mary J's first album or Dudley Perkins off Stone's Throw? And Meg, if you like female MCs, you need to check out Rhapsody and Queen Latifah and Tizzy. <laughs> Ed Sheeran is derivative of Marvin Gaye, Blackstreet, and on Vogue, and most of the music in Western civilization, actually. But your lack of Vogue, and I can give my dad the best of TV detective soundtracks. And I'll open up the store. Maybe I can make it work. The website. Get everyone in here, make it a thing. Get people to understand where the music is, where it comes from, what it means. And <laughs> eh? Have you been sleeping here overnight? Uh, no, I, I came in early. Uh, I've been to Greg's. I got a bacon bap and a vegan sausage roll. They are both yes. <laughs> How would you say thank you in the, in the... I speak three languages. 
In Ghana, my tribe says, Oh, you are done. Oh, you are done. Okay. Sumo song. That means it's all love. So where are you? Checking, labeling, pricing, bagging them up, and putting them out. And the sun is just coming up on coal lane. There's one more left in the tartan trolley. It's an orphan soul, 45. Daryl Banks, open the door to your heart, is worth £11,000. Could save the shop. <laughs> or I could go to Italy. No, mustn't look back. Don't look back. And I think about Shahid, Kojo, them girls, Vulture, my dad. Don't look back. And I look back, and she's gone. But everyone is here. <laughs>